Well, hello, ladies. I am so excited to be talking to you because I'm sure you get this a lot, but I was a huge Vampire Diaries fan. So like that I, when I saw that I was going to get to talk to you guys, I was like, oh my God, this is so <laughs> exciting. Um, well, we're happy to be here. Then. Yes, thank you. I have to ask, you know, why vampires? Like or the supernatural in general, like what draws the two of you, you know, to that, to that topic? You know, I... I've been thinking for a lot of years about this answer. And what I realized each time I return to the genre and, you know, I have to ask myself why is that for me personally, telling a story about vampires is really telling a story about what it means to, uh, to what it means if you are going on the road to live forever. If you're an immortal being, what matters about living that long, if not who you're on that road with? And so it really does give me the opportunity to write a love story, whether it's family love, friendship love, or romantic love. Um, and that's where I always want to be telling stories from that place. So uh, I love the genre for what it gives me as a writer and the stories that I love to tell. I think also genre it lets you tell stories in a way that kind of get on under the radar. You can sort of reach people. I think like this story also has a, a whole class element that I think telling it in this version, it's very re resonant of what's going on today. It's very timely. But in this version, you, you you know, you're not talking about, it's not like watching the news. It's like literally like being able to sort of think about things in a, in a cooler <laughs> way than in the way that people have the hot button topics between each other. So I like what it allows you to do. And of course, you know, vampires are sexy and they're <laughs> like, they have, they're fun and they, they're, I don't know, they're just very unique and very special and they're other in a way that is very appealing to me. They have that mysterious element yeah. That, yeah. that really exactly. pulls you in there. Exactly. <laughs> And you guys have worked obviously on a few projects together, Marguerite, as a, you were obviously acting in Vampire Diaries, also producing in, in um, originals and legacies. So kind of what, what brought you guys to, you know, produce for this show together again? Well, <laughs> I love Marguerite McIntyre, the writer, because I think she's so brilliant uh, and so, Back in the day when I only knew her as Marguerite McIntyre, the actor, we both read this book series on a vacation together. I was reading it, said, hey, this is really fun. Why don't you take a look? And she read the books as well. And this was before Vampire Diaries, before everything. Um, and so when I was give, given the opportunity to adapt it for television, I called her and said, hey, do you want to do this with me? Because you've been in it, you know, since the beginning. And she goes, I'm not making another vampire show. What's wrong with you? <laughs> and then, <laughs> but then I said, but by the way, I'm sort of pitching it as there's like a Bridgerton vibe here. Or there's a Regency mm -hmm. vibe. There's a royal, Royalty, uh, royal yes. court and political intrigue. And then bing, bing, bing. bing. I was like, oh, right, right. Because it had been a while since we'd read them. And I didn't even remember that I'd read the whole series. I knew I liked it, but I thought I read one book. And then when I refreshed myself, I was like, no, I tore through that whole series back in the day. And then seeing all of the world, it's a huge, beautiful yeah. world. And what and what we were allowed to do with it to expand it further was like, we shot in Spain, we have mm -hmm. castles, we have all this beautiful imagery, these great artists from Spain. So what it allowed us to do was was just sort of how do you say no to that we were like let's jump in both in the deep end yeah. <laughs> you said you read the book before vampire diaries so gosh how long ago was that when it 2000 came out, right? uh you know i'll probably get this wrong but i think it was 2007 right. or 8 i think wow. the first books were out by then we and were then, doing kyle xy then so i think we were doing kyle xy together six or seven yeah oh my gosh yeah. now marguerite are you gonna pop in front of the camera for this series? Or are you staying behind? No, I'm not going <laughs> to have it. No, I, I have a lot to do. This is a, this is a busy enough job that I yeah. won't I won't try to do both things. And also, we've sort of made a tried to make a kind of uh, a little rule for ourselves for season one to try and have their not really cross because we love all the actors from all the other shows. Sure. The only reason you're not seeing them in this world is we wanted to create a world where you really are suspending your disbelief for a minute. Mm -hmm. You ensconced in this world and then we can and then we can sort of, you know, maybe invite some familiar faces. Mm -hmm. But we just wanted to kind of create a, something new and then, you know, and I'm an, I'm not a new face. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and Julie, I think last question here. I, you have, gosh, five other new scripted shows that are in development, which is just crazy. I, how are you doing all of that? What are you most looking forward to? 
I had to I had to up my game because somebody went along and canceled half of my stuff, all of my stuff. But how uh, dare they? I know. How could they? <laughs> no, we've got. Um, I think that a lot of stuff that you'll hopefully be able to see on TV in the next year or two that I'm really looking forward to. And 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 every day there's a new project that's coming my way that just I always tell people all I want to do is tell stories that make people feel something powerful, a powerful emotion, whether it be joy or fear or loss or love. Um, and I want to entertain them. So that's what I plan on keeping, you know, keep on doing as long as I can. Mm -hmm.